Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood ENEL 487 lab instructor here. Um, I just thought that I should, um, I should show you something that I left out in my other video. So here, so I'll go to my Bitbucket repository <coughs> for this lab. Um, and you'll see here, I have a folder called lab one. So how exactly did I make this folder here? And how did I get it on Bitbucket? And you can see that I've already got a demo document for Lab 1 in here. It just says this is my Lab 1 document. So how exactly did I do that? And the answer is quite simple, actually. Um, so here, so I will show you how. So I'm all, I've already got that same um, ENEL 47 Herzberger um, folder here that we had made before and used git bash to connect um, this folder to Bitbucket. So I've already got that open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder here. So because I've already got one for lab one, I'm going to make one called lab two. And in lab two, I'm just going to make a text file just for simplicity. There we go. So demo doc lab two. Oh, whoops, not lab three, rename lab two. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm just gonna say lab two is awesome. There we go. So now I'm gonna close this up here. Oh, I should have mentioned I saved this. You probably just didn't see that because I used the control S method. So make sure that you do save that file <coughs> just so that everything is good to go. So now we're going to go back to our um, to our git bash here. So I've already navigated to um, the folder with my git repository in it. So again, that was the same thing as the previous video. It's just desktop and then my ENEL 47 lab git bash folder and then the actual git repository folder. So if we do a list all, you can see I've got demo documents, my demo document that I had from before, a lab one file and lab two. So now you go, we can just simply go git add lab two because we want to add the lab two folder. Let me go git commit. So again, uh, I should probably mention that the git add, um, again, that puts lab, the lab two folder in the staging area. So now if we want to commit it, you have to use git commit minus m, then you type your commit message. Again, you want this to be something useful. So I'm just going to say added lab to folder. Okay, and then hit enter. So you can see that that folder was added. Oh, well, it was committed. So now, again, same as before, we want to push it. So git push. This might take a minute. Awesome. So you can see it's 100% successful. Cool. So if we go over to Bitbucket, I'm just going to refresh my repository here. It's taking its time here. <coughs> There we go. So now you can see I have my lab two folder here. You can click on it. I've got my demo doc lab two dot txt. So once again, I'm just going to bring up that demo doc lab two folder. Lab two is awesome with a happy face. And here we have lab two is awesome with a happy face. So yeah, I just thought um, people may have questions as to how to actually add a folder or sorry, commit and push a folder to your Bitbucket um, using Git Bash. I thought that this would be a thing, like something that I should add. So yeah, um, so that's why I've decided to do this. Um, one important thing to note though, is that I've been just calling these folders. Some people call these subdirectories. So it's just kind of, it's all, they're all talking about the same thing. It's just different term terminology used. So yeah, thank you.
again for watching this video, and I will see you in the lab. Thanks. Okay, bye.